Huffington Post has a story about a botched penis enlargement that honestly is one of the most gruesome articles I've ever read. I was cringing through the entire thing. So here's what they say. Quote, a Miami judge has charged Neri Carvajal Gonzalez, 48 years old, for unlicensed health care causing serious injury. She had allegedly operated on her victim, an unarmed 55-year-old... Unarmed? Oh no, it says unnamed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. An unnamed 55-year-old hairstylist several times before she performed the bungled penis enlargement. She gave the man cosmetic facials, injected filler into his buttocks to enhance their shape. Oh boy. So you would think red flag, right? Well, she did the butt thing and I'm I'm like, my ass is infected now. No, go ahead and do the, the dick surgery too. Oh my God, don't do it, bro. He's going to do it. So the victim paid... Carvajal Gonzalez, $2,500 for the butt injection, though investigators said there was a hole in his butt cheek that fluid was leaking from. Oh. He decided to go forward with the penis enlargement surgery anyway. In February, Carvajal Gonzalez allegedly put an implant in the man's penis to make it longer and thicker, but the fillers she used permanently disfigured him. The victim's penis was now incredibly small, yet very swollen, and the skin around the shaft had been removed and was raw. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, we can't stop it. They're not done, they say. Uh, oh, they go. she goes to another doctor. So the fake doctor goes to another fake doctor and says, hey, you want to try to fix this guy even though you can't? And the guy's like, where do I sign up? That guy's name is Mark Schreiber. They say, quote, Schreiber, 60 years old, had already spent two years in jail starting in 2008 for performing unlicensed plastic surgeries. The victim reportedly paid Schreiber $1,000 to get Carvajal Gonzalez's implant removed. After the procedure, the man removed his bandages to find that his penis had been mutilated further. Schreiber told him that the look was normal and then stopped answering the victim's calls. The victim says he, he's permanently disfigured and can't have sex. He also feels no sensation when he urinates and suffers from painful, spontaneous erections. Oh, no. Just stop. I can't, I can't think about this story, man. This is so horrible. Now, I want to throw the book at these people. Again, my inner conservative is coming out. How can you treat a person like that? How can you do that? What a bad person you are. You're simply immoral. You're simply an asshole. You're a bad person. The world would be a better place without you. So I would throw the book at these people, lock them up for as long as you possibly can. And, because I have to make this political, of course, you know what show you're watching. Libertarians, where are you? I thought that the government red tape, government overregulation. I don't know why they got to make you get a permit for everything. It doesn't make sense. You should be able to do whatever you want to do. There's no government regulation, not a good idea. Really? These people, were they approved by the state? Did they go through the proper programs that they had to go through to get their medical license to then operate? Mm, they didn't. They were fake doctors. And they were telling people, I'll still do your surgery. So perhaps some of the laws, like proper regulation, proper licensing for doctors in order to not mutilate people's penises, perhaps that's intelligent, perhaps that's smart, perhaps that's the right way to go, and perhaps basic regulation makes sense, and basic permits for certain jobs, certain professions make total sense, and that's an area where the government should not really be small, it's an area where the government should be more involved so as to prevent mutilated dicks.